morning ECHS students, uh, an Innocent Project speaker is coming to our campus on October 28th. Uh, at 10 a.m. she'll be here at H Building 125. She'll be speaking on uh, behalf of the Innocence Project and what they do. Our speaker, uh, Christine Bunch, will be talking about her story about being wrongfully convicted as well as her organization, Justice for Just Us. So if y'all are interested, make sure y'all show up and support. And another note, uh, for people who are in Ms. Powell's class, a junior English 3 professor, she is giving uh, 25 points of extra credit if you attend and write an essay on it. Spirit weed! Uh, also, on Friday, we have Trunk or Treat. And here with us today, we got the Hulk. Let's see it, Hulk. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> All right. He's going to be there. He's going to be judging y'all's costumes. So make sure y'all dress up for Friday. Also, on Friday, we got Red Cross's Fun Friday. So make sure y'all come and support. Hello, guys. My name is Michael, and I'm a junior at ECHS. This Friday, October the 27th, Breakfast Club will be hosting a very fun Friday outside of P building. You guys should show up. All you have to do is pay $10 to participate. You get um, to enter in a raffle, treasure hunt, and you get tacos made by Miss Brooke Negra. It's the same tacos she made at Open House. If you guys were there, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. And for the treasure hunt, there's a $50 prize for whoever um, solves it or finds a treasure. And there is going to be three raffle draws for $20. And, you know, just show up, have fun. Yeah. Fun Friday. I'm gonna be at Fun Friday. We're, We're gonna, gonna be at Fun Friday. Make sure Make to support, support Red Cross Club and buy your $10 tickets this Friday. Hello guys, could you see me? Red Cross Club is holding a cookie sale today outside of P building. It's a dollar a cookie. Like I said, a dollar a cookie. Make sure you guys come out. It's going to be some good cookies, only for a dollar, and it's for charity, so it's a win-win. Look at the cookies. They're $2, um, three for $5, and if you bought your Fun Friday bundle, it will be $1 for every cookie you buy. So, you know, definitely check it out outside P building today. Y'all probably tired of me. Yeah, I'm near 3,000. But one more quick announcement, bear with me please. If anyone is interested in creating a volunteer tutoring club here at school, um, reach out to one of these two emails on the poster. So the club will be linked to a tutoring program named OQuest. OQuest's goal is to link high schoolers with middle schoolers and get middle schoolers help with um, tutoring. Join the All Girls Bible Study Club. Meetings will be held Tuesdays after school in Ms. Marsh's room. What me? I already did my thing. We are officially going on tour. Get your tickets right now in Ticketmaster. Watch out for the dates. We're going to be located at your mama's house, your daddy's house, your man's house, your granny's house, your homie's house. Whichever house you want us to be at, we're there. So get your tickets right now before they sell out. What made you go on tour? Because people were asking, people were asking for us. So we had to launch a tour. It was time for us to launch a tour. Okay. What made y'all be so, like, what, how do you feel being all famous and all that? To be honest, it gets pretty exhausting on my everyday life. I have fans coming up to me every day, asking for autographs and pictures. It's honestly like, I get it, like the fans want it, but like, it's like, all right guys, I have my personal life too. I'm pretty tired. I'm a college student. Don't, don't, we love our fans. We love our fans no matter what. Haters, love our haters, love, love our fans. So. Love our haters more, yeah. So, yeah, guys. But yeah, make sure to get your ticket tours and we'll catch you here in these dates. The Black Student Union. Thursday, October 26, and P123. Oh, everybody's welcome. I fart nine times in silence. The one time that I fart loud and stinky, the whole class is after me. Isn't that concerning? Do you think the earth is round? Cause scientists say that the earth is round, but when I lay on my back, it feels flat. Isn't that concerning? <laughs> 